hi everyone and uh, welcome back so in this video we are uh, going to draw another workflow diagram and uh, we will deploy it and we will see things on the kamunda engine okay so let's talk about the service task here we have this is a service task so this is the start of the process connected to the service task and then we have let's say another user task and we are going to do a very simple thing here let's say set variable and let's say get check variable okay and this one is a user task set variable here what we are going to do is the implementation is expression because we don't have external apis to talk to so we have a simple expression what we are doing is these expressions is kamunda language this is nothing but when you wanted to set something from a particular task so that that particular data is available to all the flow all the particular tasks coming after it so what i want is i wanted to set something from this service task so that my user task can get that value okay and i will put this kamunda diagram name is testing2 Okay, we will use this syntax only. This is a user task. This is a service task, and we are setting up some variable. Uh, let's say hi is say hello. This is the value. Now, what is the use of these variables which we are setting? And you will see also the input output mapping. Lot of other things are there. What is the use of all these things? This service task can be pointing to some external service. Can be pointing to some some expression which we have done. so by calling some api you will set the state of this particular process and the same state same state will be available throughout the journey why we need it because we want to know okay from the previous task do we have this variable available here because there may be some uh, dependent uh, data based on which you are actually deciding okay should i go to this branch should i go to that branch using this gateway when we introduce this kind of a gateway here here we will be deciding okay uh, through this gateway should i go to this particular task and here i can say okay i will go to this particular task when the condition type this can be expression and in this expression i will be checking okay the variable value which you have set is true or uh, is hello or say hello if it is hello then i will go here and if it is let's say we can actually copy this or this is another and we can say if you have set another variable then i will go here and finally the end goal is we want to mark everything completed it just that we wanted to execute a different different things on top of that and this can be again a service task or whatever you wanted to do like let's say service task this can also be a service task so just it was just an example like how you wanted to do it and why there is a need of setting up the variables based on that you will be deciding and you from the gateway you will be deciding okay i will go to this path if user is logged in if user is session is not initialized then i will go to that path okay so we will actually deploy this and we will see this variable in this user task this task is setting up the variable and all human user task so this is a manual user task and what you call them is i mean from the specific terminology these are called as a uh, manual task right so these are like a debugger because this is the place where your execution will always stop because here you have to manually clean these task and complete them okay so i will just go ahead and deploy this without talking much this is deployed let's see this in the cockpit here we are we can check all the processes and we will go to the testing too it's not running so what we will do is we'll go to the task list and we will start this process by clicking on to the start process on the header and here i can see testing too i can start this so this process is started now i can go to the cockpit and can see what all processes are running these are 11 oh 
why it is starting directly this okay here we can see the testing too this is the running instance and we can see the the process is available here right because this is the user task we click on to this and here we can see the variables which are defined so you can see variables incidents if there is any error occurred called process instance if this process is calling some another external events user task this is a user task already so hi is set to say hi i may have missed that string value okay now uh, what we can do is we can claim this and we can complete this so our running process gets completed here i can claim this and before claiming what you can do you can do a lot of things you can add variables and then based on this variable also you can decide the gateway where it will go for now i'll just complete it so this is gone and we are good okay so this is about the the service task expression similarly we will also talk about uh, the external service task how to set the variables right okay uh, thanks everyone